live now to the O2 Sorry. Arena. Paul Dempsey is there for us for all the build-up to the weigh-in. Paul. It's almost upon us right now. Matt, uh, here's Mike Goodall, the MC, to get us underway. Weigh in for tomorrow night's World Championship Boxing to be presented here at the O2 Arena and promoted by Frank Warren for Sports Network and sponsored by Rockstar. Tonight we come to the weigh in for the unification of the Cruiserweight Championship of the World for the WBA, WBC and WBO titles. First to the scales, please. The current WBA and WBC champion from London with a record of 20 contests, 20 21 contests, 20 wins, 19 wins by way of knockout with one loss. Please welcome from London, England, David Haymaker Hay! As ever, he is a master of the dramatic pause. But as I mentioned a while ago to our viewers on Satanta Sports, David A has been in the building since 4 p.m. So he's just dragging out the drama level here and extracting the maximum amount of tension. Some may believe that that is a ploy to try and put a false seed of doubt into the mind of Enzo Macronelli that he has been struggling, but we'll now find out the truth. David Hay, 198 pounds. That's a job well done by David Hay. That's two pounds inside the, and now to the 14 scales, stone please. four limit. In South Wales. A cruiserweight with something to spare. Champion, being a record for 29 contests, 28 wins, 21 by way of knockout with one loss. Swansea's uh, Big Mac, Enzo Macronelli. Enzo Macronelli, 197 pounds. That's pretty much expected of a man who walks around on the street at cruiserweight, so both comfortably inside the 200 pound limit for this, at the new cruiserweight limit, of course. Had it still been the former cruiserweight limit, there's no doubt that David Hay would have been a heavyweight a year or two ago. We'll just... Uh, See if there's a handshake and a smile between the two of them. Most of it's been very good humoured through most of the build-up. Two good fellas. And it would only be understandable if there's a real edge with so much at stake for both men's career at this stage. But they've generally conducted themselves impeccably and it's good to see that. I think we can say with that the mind games come to an end. And all that's left now is the real stuff tomorrow night. John Rawling, what are your thoughts on what you saw at the weigh-in? Well, I think they, as you say, they behaved impeccably, didn't they? And uh, I, I thought they both looked in terrific, Nick. I mean, David Hayes, absolutely ripped, isn't he? If he's, uh, I, I gather he's, he's been on the weight for some time, you know, he's not, he's not had to dry out to, to get there. And uh, I thought Hay particularly looked absolutely superb up there. Macronelli, as you say, he walks around at about 14 stone, 14 stone one, which is, which is where he's weighed in. And it was interesting when they stood face to face, you know, Macronelli supposedly 6'4", Hay 6'3", didn't look anything in it to me, physically. The, the stature is pretty much pretty much the same. They both look great. I just want to bring in Richie Woodall. Richie, uh, as you may have heard earlier, w was slightly doubtful about David Hay's real readiness. Now, you've seen him, Richie. What's your opinion now about how well David Hay has done the weight? I'm not, doubt I'm not doubtful now. He looked uh, absolutely in superb condition, I have to say, two pound under as well. So obviously when they got down here at four, they were just making sure that he was under the weight and he's well under. They're both looking good, Nick, and they both looked at each other. There was no silly business. You know, the real stuff really starts tomorrow night, but they both look, as John says, in great condition. Thank you both for the moment then. So the story here at the O2 Arena is that David Hay and Enzo Macronelli have both weighed in and they couldn't be in better shape. So now it really is all systems go.